Okay, so welcome back to some more Stalker Anomaly, and today we have a different kind of video. So as you guys know, Gamma 0.9 just got released, and it was a massive update. Visual changes, gameplay changes, quality of life changes, a lot of cool stuff was added to this update, so shout out to Grok and everybody involved that came together to make this amazing mod pack. So while I was getting my game all set up from this huge update, it gave me some ideas on things I wanted to add it to EFP as well. And when I jumped back into EFP 4.0, I was like, man, it will be really cool to have some of these guns in Gamma as well. And the cool thing is, the mod creators for EFP 4.0 are okay with you using their mods in your own personal mods list and mod packs, which is really cool. So shout out to everyone over at the EFP team. You guys know I love EFP. I've had some of my best times playing Stalker on the EFP mod pack, so I highly, highly recommend it. You will get a totally different experience than what you'll get in Gamma. Okay, so enough talk, let's install these guns, but huge disclaimer, this has not been tested thoroughly, which means I've not spent hours and hours and hours and hours testing this to make sure that it's stable. So just so you know, huge disclaimer, this can break your game and it can mess up stuff. As we all know, when you mod games, it may not crash right away, but you won't know it's stable until you spend days and hours literally testing it and making sure everything is stable. But as of right now, everything seems to be okay. I even installed this on a current save and it still works just fine. So everything seems okay. And the cool thing is if it does break your game, you can just disable the mod and you should be fine. Okay, so first things first, you're going to need to install EFP 4.0 if you haven't already. And if you don't have it installed, I will have a video down below that will walk you through step by step on how to download and install EFP 4.0. So once you have EFP installed, you want to open up the EFP 4.0 mod organizer. You can find the EXE for it in the folder you downloaded to install EFP 4.0. So just head over here to mod organizer and open it up. And once you're there, head down to the filter bar down here and then type in EFP. And what you're looking for is this mod right here. The Maid-Haruka EFP WP. And you'll find that under the weapons tab. Next, you want to right click on it and go to open in Explorer. And you should see a file like this. And the next thing you want to do is click on mods up here. You should see the file made-haruka. I'm probably saying that mad wrong, I'm sorry about that. But you're looking for the made-haruka EFP WP folder right here. You want to right click on that and copy. Now close your EFP mod organizer. Then open your Gamma Mod Organizer. And once you're here, just right click on any random mod and open in Explorer. Just pick any mod, does not matter which mod you choose. Then you'll see a very similar folder. Go back up top and click on Mods again. Now right click anywhere in the folder that's not on an actual folder, so like right next to it right here, and paste. And once it's done copying, you should see the EFP WP folder in your Gamma RC3 mods folder. So that's how it should be up here. Also, as you see here, there is a mags redux patch for it as well. So if you do use magazines, follow this next step. So keep this Gamma mods folder open, but close your Gamma mod organizer and relaunch your EFP mod organizer. And once it's open, head back down to the filter bar and type in mags. Now you want to find the made Haruka EFP WP mags redux patch. And again, right click on it, open in Explorer. And then same as last time, go one step back to the mods folder. And now you want to copy the EFP WP mags redux patch folder. Then you want to head back to the gamma mods folder and paste again. So with that, we're pretty much done 
but I'm adding one more extra step as an option. The recoil on the EFP guns won't have the same recoil as the guns that's already in Gamma. And with this mod, you'll be able to even that out. It's called G-Boobs Enhanced Recoil Revised. It's an amazing recoil mod. It's extremely customizable. You can set your recoil power, your gun movement power, your post-process FX power. You can set how much recoil is influenced by upgrades, by its condition, while you're moving, while you're sprinting, while you're prone, crouch, jumping, and while you're zoomed in with your scope. So just super customizable. It is made by the Mr. Demonized. Credits go out to Grok and Lucy. I'll have a link down below for you guys if you want it. Okay, so now for the last steps. So make sure your EFP mod organizer is closed, then reopen your Gamma mod organizer. Also, just one more safety step. I recommend backing up your mod organizer. So head up top to the left side of active and click on that arrow point down and that will back up your mod organizer. That way, if you get lost and you don't know how to disable any of the mods you did today, you can go back to this arrow right here, right next to that downward arrow, and you can restore it back to the day that you created that backup. And that way you can go back to how your mod organizer was before you did anything and you should be fine. Then head back down to the filter bar and type in EFP. And all you do now is enable it. And if you're not using Mags Redux, you don't need this patch at all, but if you are using Mags Redux, enable that patch as well. And if you also wanna use the recoil mod, head up to the top left, so you see this box with the disc in front of it click on that and it should bring up this folder menu now all you do is head over to where you download the recoil mod at once you find it click on it and open then you get this pop-up just press ok then once that's done installing head back down to the filter bar and you can type in boob and it'll pop right up so you want to enable the g boobs enhanced recoil revised and that's it. So let's test it and make sure everything's working. So launch the game through the launcher and make sure your debug mode is on and start the game. Okay, so once you're in game, press F7 and that should bring up the debug menu. Now go over here to item spawner. Now you can pick any gun category, but let's go rifle for now. And you should see a bunch of new guns. It's got the BRN here, really cool guns. Actually spawn that in. Uh, got the HKG28. Again, shout out to Maid and everybody over at the EFP team. Um, I love these guns. I'm a gun guy. I love having a variety of guns in my game. Um, so this was just amazing how easy it worked. I just literally tried it and it worked immediately. This is an old save as well. A uh, bunch of cool guns in here. So I just spawned in a bunch of stuff. Um, yeah, I got some shotguns too. Let's see here. Got some shotguns as well. Uh, really cool. I think these sawed off shotguns are from EFP as well. I, it's so many of them, I can't remember now, but really cool. So anyway, let's get out of this. So press escape. Let's go into our inventory here. Um, let's just try it out. Yeah, works fine. Also too, let's uh, check out the recoil mod. So if you go to your uh, mod menu, go down to G Booth recoil. So if we crank this up, so right now 1.8, so we crank this up to five. Let's see how that looks. Good God. Oh, yeah. <laughs> nice, dude. This is so sick. But really, I just want to say thank you to every single mod creator out there. You guys are amazing. Like, thank you guys so much for making games like this even better. And I mean any mod creator for any game. You guys literally save games and make them so much better but this is so cool i love doing i love messing around with mods and seeing what works and seeing what i can get away with just so you know hold on we can actually do this too let's go over back to the recoil mod this recoil mod is very cool i love this mod so let's let's just crank this stuff up to insane amounts let's see might get some neck broke action here let's see here okay, there we go let's uh let's let's use uh let's use the rss <laughs> Oh God, here we go. Not too, too bad, but it's definitely, uh, yeah, that's insane. Want some Tarkov action, there you go. Holy shit, dude, that's insane. That is awesome. <laughs> okay, so one more thing before I go. A lot of you have been asking how you can get magazines in your game. So I'm gonna show you how to turn that on, and I'm also gonna show you how to get ammo back in your magazines. Now, huge disclaimer, this is why I didn't wanna do this. This is guaranteed to break your game. I can show you a fix, but it is recommended that you do a new save if you're going to do this. So if you don't have Mag Redux 
already enabled, I would definitely do a new game. If you do have it enabled, you're going to definitely get a crash by doing this, but I will show you how to fix it. But also one more disclaimer, Gamma is always updating. So this method will not always work. And this is guaranteed to crash your game. It's guaranteed, but I will show you how to fix that. But I still highly recommend you do a new save. So with that being said, let's do this. And also big thank you to 2OP for you. You guys might have seen him in the chat. He's the one that showed me how to do this. So all credit and thanks goes to him. So the first thing you want to do is go back into your Gamma Mod Organizer. Go back down to the filter. Type in Unjam. And then you want to go up and look for Gamma Unjam Reload on the same key. Make sure that's disabled. Now you want to head over to the Mag Redux mod page and download it. I have a link down below for you guys. Once that's done, head back over to your Gamma Mod Organizer. And if you already have Mags Redux enabled, disable it. And if you don't, follow the next steps. So head back up here to the box in the disk, click on it, and then find where you downloaded Mag Redux. Click on it and open. So you're going to get a few options here. So ammo check is for if you want to have a cool little ammo check at the bottom of your screen. So I'll turn it on. Um, the PPP patch, you need that. That's in the mod pack as well. Um, the AUG pack is in the mod pack as well. And the bass is in the mod pack as well. Small icon patch, I don't think you need this. Uh, I didn't use it, so for right now, I don't have it installed and it works just fine. So now you press install. So once that's done, head back down to your filter bar and type in mag. And then you want to look for anomaly magazine redux and make sure your old mag redux that came with gamma is disabled and enable this one. Now launch your game. Okay, so my game loaded up. Let's test out the mags here, make sure they're working. That is insane by the way. Okay, reload that thing up. Let's check the mags. So they're working. That one's full. Let's put that one in. Let's make sure it's working here. So it's Jesus Christ, okay. So th there should be no full mags now. So it's working, okay. So like I said before, if you don't do a new save, you are guaranteed going to get a crash. So there's a fix for that, so let me show you. So if you're able to load in, what you wanna do is, you wanna press F7 again to get the debug menu back up, and then you wanna delete all common squads. Now before you do this, let me explain what happens here. So this will delete all unimportant NPCs from the world, and then over time, over a couple of days, it will repopulate with new NPCs. So why this fixes the crash is because what happens is when you do this mag redux method, it moves the files a little bit and the game is gonna look for magazines that aren't in that location anymore. They're in the game still, but they're not in that location the game remembers it being in, which is why it's recommended to do a new save. But what happens is when you delete everybody from the game and the game brings in new stalkers, it also brings in the new file location. So that way it prevents it from crashing. Now let me explain why you might get an instant crash. That means that a gun that you have is affected or someone around you has a gun that's affected by the file shift. So you can go into your logs and figure out what's causing the crash, if it's your gun or someone around you. And then from there you can move from that area to somewhere else or you can get rid of your gun and then you can retry the method and then see if that works. But I recommend doing a new save. That way you don't have to worry about any of that stuff. You can just play the game without worrying about the files being all jacked up. Um, but just keep in mind too, everything in this video can break your game. So do it at your own risk. Um, the reason I'm showing you guys is because my save still works. This is a very old save by the way. It's been through many gamma updates. It's been through many mod tweaks and stuff like that. And it still works just fine. But like I said, it takes hours upon days to really figure out if your game is stable. But with that being said, I'm going to call right there. I hope this helped you guys out. Uh, really cool stuff though, man. Really excited to uh, play with some EFP guns. Uh, really cool. Holy crap, that recoil. I changed that back. But yeah, I will see you guys in the next one. Thanks for watching. Peace.